And welcome back to Jeff Kanagi Live here at Citizen Television. Great conversation here with two amazing women, former business women, very successful at that. And now they join politics, trying to make a difference. Nairobi woman rep Esther Pasaris and Nakuru County Senator Tabitha Karanja. Great conversation, folks. You're joining. We'll get you to a tweet in a little short while. Um, let's get to the latest stuff that's happened today. There was a rally, Jivanji Gardens. Uh, Baba calling for mass action, <laughs> an ultimatum of 14 days to the president. And you, you see, question? 14 days because we really have a crisis. Jeff, people are hungry. People are actually sleeping without meals. Children are going to get malnourished. The, the cost to the economy will be even more. Right now, we need to make sure that the children go to school. There are children that are out of school, over 200,000. We need to make sure that the children have meals in school. India has been doing it for years. Can we learn from them? How are they giving healthy meals to their children? UK has just started. Mm. UK has just started making sure that before they used to feed only certain schools, public schools, but now they're feeding everybody. A healthy meal. UK started rolling out feeding. So we need to make sure that we have food in our schools. We have food in our orphanages. Okay, because it's our collapse in societal collapse that has led to all these orphanages. We need to make sure we have food in our old people's homes. We, uh, okay, and if you're going to raise NSSF and all these things, those are retirement money. Let's start building retirement homes and making sure that we fund them well. Were you there, Jivanji? Yes, I was. You were there? Yes, I was. It was prayers and... Uh, you know, I mean, KK kind of uh, took custody of God, but we are taking it back. <laughs> You're taking God back. <laughs> We're taking God back. Senator, what do you think of all these rallies, these prayer rallies? Because you have your own, by the way, on Sundays. They're praying every weekend. <laughs> they should work. They're praying every no, weekend. No, no. But as is Sunday, we pray on Sunday. Uh, first of all, me and my Catholic, even we pray more. Leave the one you see there. Yeah. We pray more. We have a rosary everywhere, driving everywhere. So we pray more. But uh, faith without works. Whatever, dead. whatever they give, fourteen days. Mm. Oh, my, you know why I'm annoyed? Because they know the truth. They know that we inherited a country that had was heavily debted. We the KRA. I'm just learning Esther. You know it. The, the tax collected is uh, They've two done very trillion, well. Two trillion. Yeah. Uh, two trillion there. Two point something, I don't know, trillion. Debts alone, you pay using 1.4 trillion. Salaries for the, the, the government officers, mine also, I'm a, now I'm a government officer, is 700 million. So, 700 billion. Billion. So that's 2.1. So you inherit a debt of 100, million, 100 billion every year. Every year. So we need to increase the tax bracket. Tax bracket, we can only increase it if we create more jobs, more businesses. We support more businesses, more manufacturing plants in this country. So you know, it's not something that can happen within 14 days. So nivire mutu anataka kuchokoza. Anataka kupiga mutu, sasa yesta anataka kunipiga. Unajua, unajua, unajua. So we start fighting. That's what they are looking for. Mm -hmm. They are just looking for a fight. No, we just want no, no, no. the price of the food not to this, go high. Because even everybody knows, if you have a thousand shillings in your pocket and you need to, 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 to do business with it to grow it, it can't grow within a day. It will require a week to become 2,000, to become whatever, whatever. So meaning, we are, as you put it, we are in crisis and we need to think together. All of us come to, because we have brain -dead people here in this country. Yeah. But we need sober minds, we need, and we have the best CEO of this country ever. Let's and let proud. him get the price We have the, the best CEO down. ever. And a CEO of a country or our company just requires that support of everyone. And especially those people now who have more even experience. We have more people who have experience in this country. And Baba being one, being an advisor on how we are going to create more money for this country so that we can eradicate poverty. So even people like them, they will be held responsible if this country doesn't move forward. Me to me, that's how it is. So Esther, please, I know you talk to, every, to them. Let us all sober up and let us all know how do we get or move this country to the next level. We all know that we have the best CEO. 
you call him seven o'clock in the morning, he's in the office, he's meeting people. He's ending his meetings. Just the way you've done, you're growing your company. But by 10, by whatever. So meaning, that's a person that will work for this country. And the more you work, the more you work, the more we are assured that this country will move to the next level. But moving to the next level, we need six months, we need a year, we need two years, we need three years. You know, um, Ama, you can grow your maize within 14 days. You know, days. when when you're when uh, when you're uh, the president and you're the government, and your citizens are hungry, your citizens cannot afford to pay for their basic. They are being kicked out of their houses. They're going on the streets to sleep. They have no food. They can't pay for their medical. They can't bury their dead. They can't. They, they have no dignity. We're trying to have dignity. We're building. I love the fact that the housing projects which Uhuru initiated and didn't complete uh, are being launched right now. A lot of the things that we're seeing the president going around and launching were from the last parliament, from the last government. Um, so it's not something that he started today new. So government is a continuity. He was a deputy president. He is now the president. So he knows that we had subsidies because people were already struggling with food prices. I mean, look at Sudan the other day. Just because of bread prices, you had a revolution. So when Baba is saying, deal with it right now, he's actually trying to tell you, deal with it, because if you don't, then you'll destroy the country. So we need to deal with availability of food, affordability of food. Because you can't talk to me about jobs or anything if my children are hungry. you crime right now in Nairobi. The crime is so high, you can hardly walk without being mugged or robbed because somebody out there is looking for a way to feed his, his, himself or his children. So the crime Crime is also on the increase. So it's a vicious circle of wrongs. So where does it start? It starts with understanding people need food. The, that hustler fund, let it give more money because if you're giving somebody 500 shillings and Mama Mboga goes and buys tomatoes and then because there's, the economy is so bad, nobody's bought her tomatoes, all of them go down, she owes 500 shillings, tomorrow she's stuck. She didn't get anything. Let's, so we let's, have to, are we also coming up and saying, is this thing working? Or is there another way we can remedy this mm -hmm. position? The Kazim Tani was a brilliant idea because it was clean. I saw them launching the river, Nairobi River project today. All right. And for me, you cannot clean any river if you don't have a buy-in of the citizens. So those citizens along the river, if they are all going to be employed, if the citizens around, along the estates are going to be brought into the project so that everybody feels that if there's a billion shillings going into this project, it's not going into contractors, five, six people, right? It is actually going to the citizens. Right. The citizens are getting 2,000 shillings a, a week or 1,000 shillings a, a, a day, but they're able to actually understand cleaning the river is our responsibility. Recycling, big opportunities. But let me tell you where the biggest danger is. Corruption, corruption, corruption. And if we're not going to deal with corruption, if we're going to still look for cutting deals. I got an investor recently who came in and said, Esther, I'd like to do scrap metal. All right. I have my, I want to bring in the machines. I want to put them at the port. I want to collect scrap, scrap metal, pay your people good prices. How do I go about it? Let me tell you, you go to Treasury. I'm told because you're not you're not uh, Kenya Kwanza, you will not get that license. I'm going to actually go and try and see if this investor who's a billionaire who wants to do scrap metal can actually get the license to do this job and then create opportunity for our people. The problem is we sell everything. You want a contract. There are these briefcase guys who are walking around saying you want this contract, pay me this. So this is what makes the debt go high. So open business out for everyone so that everyone can trade. This idea that Kenya Kwanza, Nyinyi ndiyo mulikuwa kumbele ya mstari, Nyinyi ndiyo mutakula kwanza, ingeni mukule, ikibaki, ndiyo awa ingeni watakula. Listen, we want investors. Investors have got to be able to feel it's easy to do business in this country. There are people who want to plant trees. I've got an investor from India who wants to come and plant bamboo. He will create opportunity. He just wants the land. But again, we everything. You know now climate change is the big bucks thing. That's where everybody is looking at, how are we going to control this? Give us the licenses, don't give everyone else. But when you close it, then you end up giving it to people who don't know what to do. Idi Amin, when he kicked out the, when he kicked out the Asians, what happened? The Ugandans moved in, they took the shops. They had no idea how the dukkha worked. 
how the guy stocked up. Before you knew it, they've consumed everything, they've eaten everything, they're, they're unemployed, they have no opportunity, they have no farms. Look at Zimbabwe. So you have to allow the economy to exchange without so much stress and strain. All right, Senator, what do you have to say to that? Okay, let's give credit where it is. The Hasra Fund. If you look at the Hasra Fund, the first uh, people that were given the 500 shillings, they've already graduated. Now they have been getting one for 1,500. I'm going to they will con Yes, they will continue graduating, graduating. Mm. And that's how everybody starts this business. You start with 100,000, you start with the... Uh, 500 shillings. No, no, no. I'm just saying, depending on the business, the type of the business mm. you're talking about. Like now, Kirochi, we started with 200,000. 200, Today is a billion company, isn't it? So if you start with 500, now you're at 1,500. It will go to 10,000. It will go to 20,000. It will come to that 100,000 with time. So give credit where it is it, it, you, yeah, isn't what, it? Yeah, what happened to Kairosha should never have, have happened. And that should be an example. What happened to Adopter Light should not have happened. Now, it's not because we're women. It's just, it happens even to men. But I don't think, agree. you know, I, I think when they cry, agree. they don't cry publicly. We cry publicly, I agree. you know. And then let's give credit also His Excellency, his president, Dr. William, has said his government is, is for everyone. Watch, I end up with your his government is for everyone. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> know license. that, he's, and you've seen. Yeah. And Bambu. Yeah, he's called the Azimios, he's called the... In fact, we, we are complaining, because he loves you more than <laughs> us. <laughs> Let me tell you, they are investors. He loves them they more. Are, they so are for him, if you're an investor, he's there. He's there, he listen. Because what is he looking for? Is to ensure that job creation. His purity. What about his deputy saying that he'll be standing in the line at State I tell House, you, uh, agreeing, you see, will go you in. See, you see, let me tell you. Let's, uh, let's let him continue talking. He's making us more popular. Yeah, but let me tell you something. Eh? Uh, we, are not, we are not the same. We are not the same. So meaning, some people talk as it is. Mm. But they call it what? Brand, as it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, 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 it's okay for them. Isn't it? But for you, you'll, it's, you'll, you'll try to shape and whatever, all that. Eh? So for him, we just need to look. What is he doing for this country? He's the best deputy president. Ah, it's too soon to say. No, no, no. It is true. He's the best deputy president we've got. So you're telling me that William Ruto was not a good deputy president? He was. So Gashagwa is the he best? Was. He was. But what the support that is giving the current president, believe me, let's forget. You know, you well, can... I hear he wants to run for president. You can be 100... <laughs> but look at the 100 marks. If you're 80, yes. if you're 90, we should forget about the 10 and move with the 90. It's still a name. Me, yeah, it's still a name. <laughs> me, that's whatever. And we're running for 2027. Uh -huh. it's, it's free for everyone. I think so. Even for now, we concentrate. <laughs> Even for now, we concentrate with, with His Excellency Dr. William Ruto <laughs> for the five years since 2027. Uh -huh. When 2027 comes, people get to the Kiwanja. Everybody will get there, isn't it? Even you. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go to the magic board, let me ask you both. Mm -hmm. What, how, how is it um, balancing politics and family? And you've done this for what, now, second term? Do you know, I, I still go back to the day that I got home after campaigns in 2008, and uh, I found my daughter at the, at, uh, in the living room, and I was like, hi, McKenna. And she's like, I'm not talking to you. I don't have a mom. And I was like, seriously, what happened? Well. I hurt myself with a nail. I took myself to Dr. Lumba. I got a tetanus shot. Where were you? Mm. You didn't pick your phone. You come in now and you're asking me. I mean, I, at this age, should not have to take myself for a tetanus shot, you know? So, of course, there is those times when you feel you're not there. I can't make it for the play. But I've tried to balance. I have two amazing children. I believe that I raised them well. Um, and. Um, and it's, you, you know, you, 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 you have to work double. You know, you have to work double. You have to serve your constituents. I'm Mama County, so I've got a lot of other children. And then I've got my family. Um, when I lost my, I mean, last year was a bit tough because I lost my dad in January. And uh, then, you know, the Greeks have a ritual of mourning for about three months. So by the time I could get out of it and start campaigning, but I, I was, I think I was blessed in the sense that I had a very good team. 
I also really used my guff money to really serve the people. I couldn't serve everyone and I keep apologizing that the money is so little. I wish I could help everyone. And I wish we could come up with a global solution for helping people. If it's bursaries, forget about it. Let's just give free education. All right. So if you want a private school, you go to a private school, but public school, if you want to go into public school, you have free education. Uh, if you want to go to a, a, a medical facility, you have good medical facility free. You know, drugs. I mean, uh, India, I was in India and the, the drugs are so cheap. I mean, I can't understand why are we paying the prices we're paying for drugs in Kenya? Mm. Why can't we make a deal with India to bring in those drugs? Kemsa brings in drugs and it's so expensive, more expensive than if you can buy it directly. So we need to stop the corruption. Jeff, the biggest problem is corruption. And if William Ruto wants to succeed, he has to deal with corruption decisively. And right now he has to deal with hunger. All right. He has to deal with unemployment. He has to deal with the lack of hope, because don't forget, his whole campaign was the hustler hope mm -hmm. and the hustler are the ones who are coming to our dialogues. And I'm telling you, you know, this idea of looking at Kenyans and thinking they are Kenyans who belong to Uda and they're Kenyans who belong to Azimio and they're Kenyans who don't belong to anyone because they didn't vote. What about the, that's what, 20 million people? Kenya has a population of probably 55. So close to 50. So, so what about the rest? They don't vote. But, but they're still Kenyans. They still want to be looked after. You know, in, in the olden days, you know, your polio drops, your, your, your nurses, uh, everybody's frustrated right now. I think this country really needs to pause. Pause. And just sit with yourself, breathe, and then come in tune with what you want to achieve for the rest of your life. All right. And you can work hard for it. You can imagine, yeah, maybe to add on what she's saying, mm -hmm. you can imagine when you win an election in a country like Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, you've won and everybody is yours. Because this is a country, is like a house. So everybody in that house is yours. Then somebody is trying to divide the people. And you know, you are pushing, running, to bring everybody on board. So I think there is nowhere that in the Kenya Kwanzaa government has said that if you didn't elect them, that they are not yours. No, it's not. like me now, the Nakuru County. I, was, I got the highest vote in the, in, the, in, the, in the county. But I can't say that because somebody didn't. Everybody now, it's I'm their yeah. senator. Mm -hmm. Even His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, it doesn't matter whoever elected him or not, they all belong to him, Senator. the country. And he is ready to serve everyone mm. in this country. You, t you didn't tell us how he's balancing uh, politics and family. Yes. Uh, you know, for me, uh, it's not new. For me, it's not new because I've run, running a, a business like Kiroche Breweries, you have to run to balance from the beginning. So it is a, like a continuous. Money is a continuous. But I'm lucky, maybe, because I came in in politics when uh, my children are big. But when I started Kirochi, they were very small. So maybe they felt they felt the same. Mm -hmm. There's a time also that I could stay in the office, ten o'clock. They're in uh, the they're in school. Sometimes the visiting day, you are late to attend. All that. So those ones. But for these ones now, it is easy for me. My children are grown up. Uh, Mr. Karanja is the chairman of the Kirochi Breweries. Mm. So we, it's something that whatever we were doing is the same thing I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, yeah. good. Let's go to the magic wall, folks. Uh, very yeah. good answers. I think you're inspiring a lot of young women tonight. Feedback is coming in very thick and very fast. Wow. Uh, James Owakab. <laughs> Wakibia says, will Senator Tabitha Karanja oversight her friend Susan Keheka, the governor? Right now we have a big challenge with environmental pollution from the burning Giotto dump site. But she's silent. Giotto. <laughs> 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 Do you know where that? Of course, you know that. Yeah, I know, I know, yes. Is, is there a lot of burning I, there? I, I know, yes. I, I, uh, I'm not silent. You're not silent. Yes, That's I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Very good. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Excellent. 
Kipto Ruto says, ask Esther Pesaris, how will rallies and demonstrations solve the high cost of living? How will those children, she says, are almost getting malnourished, benefit from the ongoing Azimio rallies? Well, I mean, the, ra the rallies are to bring the government to understand the plight of the people. We're speaking for the people, right? Uh, we have a system here where the opposition leader is, is, is on the outside, even though he has X number of votes. And don't forget, it, right now I'm calling Baba the opposition leader, but Baba has privy to lots of information from the whistleblower, from people within IBC on the service, knowing very well that he is most likely not supposed to be the opposition leader, he's supposed to be the president. But he's taking his position right now and saying that, look, the people who voted for me, the people of this country that I love so much are actually right now in dire need. And I need you to address this. And I'm giving you 14 days to make sure the prices of food comes down. The, the, the children who are, you know, yes, because, you know, you, you, people are hungry and the people are malnourished and people can't afford to sustain their families. And Baba is concerned and the president should be concerned too. So we're saying deal with this. You know, I can't understand why five billion shillings is going to run to increase the president's office. He doesn't need the five billion shillings. People need food. OK, if, if subsidies is another window for corruption, right, let's figure out a way to make sure that we can give the people affordable meals. Right now, I, I, you know, everything's a scandal. Everything, you know, buy this, uh, bring this. How can we find a way to get food cheap? to our people. Mm. Good. Aunga, for now, yes. you know the Unga team is down now, it's 180. 180, yes. And they said uh, within a short time again, we'll see 150, 130, 120, below 100. Below 100. Yeah, yeah that's what he said with time. Mm. Okay, Jimmy Muragori one says, please ask Honorable Tabitha Karanja why she was advocating for service delivery facilitation fund while she knew before and during elections that the office she sought did not support such funding. Okay, I can say I didn't know that. Uh, and remember, I, I, that, thing, that fund, I was not asking for myself uh, because me, I think I'll manage. I can money, and I said that from the beginning. But the billions we are taking, like now I saw it's 380, 80 billion, billion is going to the counties. Our senators, if they are not given that oversight fund. How will they oversight? How will they oversight? They need the money. Me, I have oversight. a car, maybe fueled by my company. Yeah. I'm a deputy majority leader now, I have a car, GK, going to, but the rest, all of us, no. how they I mean, oversight. And I'm happy, His Excellency, gave a proposal that we come up, they, 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 they need an oversight they fund. Come, yeah, they, okay. yeah, they need an oversight yeah, yeah. They need to understand, they look at it's very minimal, is, yeah. it's very minimal cost mm. to give to the Senate so that they can oversight the 380 billion. billion. If the 380 billion are utilized correctly, correctly and give, do, do projects that will benefit those counties, our Kenya, you'll see it progressing, mm. yeah. Okay, Mbogwa Sir says, as citizens, we know very well that the cost of living is high, but the government in power should be given time to deliver mm. to our mm. nation. Mm. Siasa Mbaya, Maisha Mbaya. I agree. Last That's what I totally here. agree, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wanja M. Douglas says, I am really enjoying JK Live tonight. The ladies are calling it as it is, despite being on different sides of the mm -hmm. political bridges. Mm -hmm. This is what we want in Kenya. We differ in political divisions, but united for Kenyans, because we all have one nation that we call Kenya. I agree. Amen, amen, amen. amen. amen, amen. Real quick, Diana Kamande. She says, Jeff, please tell Esther that she's a fantastic lady. She's helped us, widows, supported our cause and our organizations through NGAF, mm. the one you're talking about here. Yeah? Mm. She never misses widows' events as long as she is available. She says, thank you. I missed the Valentine's. I'm sorry, Diana. Uh, but I was with you <laughs> in, spirit. in spirit. Well done. Yeah. Closing thoughts. Uh, First, she's the rookie. Yeah. Keep it short. Is this a look? Yeah, the first time. <laughs> Go on. Closing thoughts yeah, yeah. going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, mine is still to continue thanking the Nakuru people uh, for giving me this opportunity to serve them as their senator. And uh, as I told them, that I'll ensure that I uh, perform my MADIT. Uh, I have heard somebody say that Susan is a friend. 
when it comes to business, there is no friendship. And for me, there will be no friendship when we are talking of delivery in our Nakuru County. So I'll do, I'll hold the, the, the Nakuru County government account on behalf of the Nakuru people mm. to ensure that those projects, the money that I bring in, because I'm the one bringing in the money, I, the, 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 I hold them responsible, I mean account, to ensure that it is just, just projects that will benefit our people. And then I ask Esther here with our team to give His Excellency of Kenya Kwanza time because I know these are government that will deliver. These are government that will deliver and uh, they will make us proud and we'll always be proud of this government. The, 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 we agree. Poverty, it's everywhere, everywhere. Nobody is not complaining about money. Even people like us, we are complaining. Auctioneers are everywhere, pick, collecting things. I get even calls, you are pick up somewhere, you are pick up in Moranga, because of many things that are happening. So what does that tell? It is just to ensure that we all come up together as, a, as Kenyans that love this country and I know The side that Esther is, love even this country even more. I've sat with some of them, they know, so that we all come together and we ensure that this country moves to the next level. Absolutely. We go on behalf of our people, mm. the people that are suffering. We know we need to create employment. We know we need to support our agriculture. We need to build more. More, more, more businesses in this country, support our businesses so that they can thrive and even create more. And using the Vahasra Fund, I believe it will also bring in more SMEs on board. Mm. Yes, thank Mama you. County, keep it short, keep um, it short. One Kenya, one people, um, that's uh, what uh, Azimio stands for. Uh, we're, we as members of the, the government, what we want to see is the lives of the people of Kenya improved. And we want to see an end to corruption because when you get rid of corruption is when you will be able to serve the people. And we want inclusivity. We don't want this talk that is divisive because Azimio is all about one Kenya. You know, so we don't want to end up with a situation where people are segregated because of uh, not having been supporters of KK. We want us to work together. And I think um, if I was the, the president, I'd be really, really listening to the dialogues that Azimio is having. Because from the dialogues, we're getting to understand what the people want and we're putting it out there. And right now the people want, uh, uh, I think we, we read, uh, Baba read the, uh, the points today. And I think, you know, a government that can move five billion shillings to the office of the president like that can easily move uh, uh, whatever it needs to move to make sure that food is available and affordable for our citizens. Absolutely. Yeah. Mama County, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Senator, thank you too. Thank you. Good words, wise words. Thank you. Women calling it like they see it. We need more of this in our country, folks. Like Esther Pasari said, we are one Kenya. There's no other Kenya to go to. That's the bottom line. Beauty and brains on the bench. How about that? Keep tweeting at Kunanga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag JK Live. Remember, if it's Wednesday, it's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. JKL. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. Good night. Good luck. God bless our beautiful country, Kenya. Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>